Chief Allah continues in North Florida following a major sewage spill in Valdosta back in December. Seven and a half million gallons of waste leaking into the Withlacoochee River. Two months later, it's still wreaking havoc on communities downstream. As Amber Spradley reports, people in Madison County are still advised not to drink their tap water because of alarming levels of bacteria in the river and wells. Madison County is holding a board meeting to discuss this major issue that they say is not only impacting them, but it's also affecting the surrounding areas, including Hamilton. And they're linking this to the recent sewage spills that have happened in Valdosta, Georgia. A big turnout from the Madison community, fed up after months of testing has shown high counts of E. coli and other contaminants. When I go to a tap, as I said in the meeting, and get a drink of water, I, I get my water and I assume it's clean. And these people can't do that. They can't use their water. They can't use the river. Chairman Donnie Waldruff says the impact from December also affecting the county financially, that it relies on the river for ecotourism. And results tonight from the latest well water test showed 17 with high E. coli levels. This is a state issue. It's not a Madison County issue, a Hamilton County issue, Swanee or Lafayette all the way down to Levy County. It just has a regional impact. County leaders are ready to take action. A motion approved Wednesday night to consider appointing an attorney. My constituents, my voters keep asking me, why are we not filing a lawsuit? Why are we not filing a lawsuit? Well, before you file a lawsuit, you have to do a fact-finding mission, and that's what we're wanting to do to get an, an opinion from an environmental lawyer. Now, the city of Valdosta says they've added seven new locations to be tested, and they do monitor those locations multiple times throughout the week. They say that the results since December's spill have turned out clean. We'll have those results on our website at WCTV.TV. In Madison County, Amber Spradley, WCTV Eyewitness News. Clowns in Madison County say they're testing weekly until they have the source of the problem. Another meeting will take place in Madison County to discuss their next legal step.